Hi everybody, welcome back to Shell Star Stitches. I uh, hope you are all doing okay. Um, apologies, I didn't do a video last week. Um, I did have a couple of bits to show you, but Saturday I was out all day. Um, and you'll see why when you watch this video. And then Sunday we had uh, to wait in for a new fridge freezer delivery. So, and then that was a bit of fun and games, getting old one out, new one in, and... Um, yeah, having to swap the doors over on the fridge freezer and everything and yeah so weekend got away with me at the end of my uh two weeks off so i've been back to work this week which was a shock to the system and reminds me even more sometimes why i want to retire now a bit early i know but i've got plenty of hobbies to keep me going so i have lots to show you i'm going to try not to speed through too quickly but also try not to waffle for you um yeah, I don't know whether to... I think we'll show you... Yeah, I know what I'm going to show you first and then we'll go from there. So I've got lots of sort of hauls and bits and bobs to show you. But I am going to start with, while I lean over and get it, so you hopefully can't see it. Um, while I was on holiday, I wasn't actually away, but while I was off work, let's call it on annual leave. Um, so last Thursday, I believe it was. Um... I was contacted by Beth at Toft. So Imaginists um, closed at the end of March. Um, so that was the January through to March box 17 entry. Um, and I got, I was just busy in the craft room, I think, doing things. I'd kind of forgotten, not forgotten about it, but my friend had messaged me to say, oh, they started posting the pictures so we knew judging would start soon. Um, but yeah, I got messaged by Beth um, that I'd been picked as a silver runner up winner so um yeah as you can tell by my smile um i was really chuffed because um as you all know i've been participating not as long as some have because some have been from box one but um i didn't know about toft then um and i was also a bit scared of imaginists that whether i could make the choices and things myself um i'm very used to somebody telling me what to do with my patterns um, so yeah, my, this is my fourth entry, so that means I've been entering for a year, because it's once every three months. And um, Amos, the Luminous Flox Monster, here he is, got me a silver patch. Um, so yeah, that was I was really, really pleased. Um, so there was one gold winner, um, who was Holly, Comet Moth, um, with her um, monster called Pearl. If you go over to Imaginists and have a look, I will pop a link to Imaginists in the comments. And three silver winners this time, not as many. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm not kind of, I am really chuffed. And then yesterday, my patch arrived. Now this is this is without minus patch. So I've got my little postcard um, signed by Kerry, which obviously I've kept. And the patch has gone straight on the front of the book. So there is my silver. Um, that got, My gold was for my Halloween hat. Um, that I wore to queue, that I crocheted and then wore to queue. Um, and obviously I, I dressed up with skeleton as well. So, um, yeah, so that's my silver one for my Imaginist. So it's gone pride of place. We've had to demote, demotivate dinosaur. So my, my T-Rex has been demotivated into the back of the book. Um, and we've put both our patches now, our trophied ones, on the front. So, yeah, really, really pleased. So... Gonna go, I wasn't, not that I was going to stop, I think it was almost like I kind of stopped stopped thinking about it and got selected. So um, we are going to carry on. Um, so on that vein, I will show you now the next set of colours. So thank you, thank you Amos for my, yeah, pleased with that, really, really pleased. And now I, I pretty much, I think I have a whole patch collection there now. Um, right, so... Box 18 has arrived in terms of colours for Imaginists. Uh, they are neutral again, so not colour. So we have in here for the next competition, let's get this out. So box 18, uh, we've got to submit by the 30th of June. So you get your little card with your picture that you can draw on. I tend to draw on the A4 ones that they supply as part of the PDF because you've got lines for writing the formula. So we have 100 grams of stone to use. We have 25 grams of cocoa to use. 
and 25 grams of mushroom. Now I don't really use mushroom. I don't, I don't think I've ever used mushroom. Um, so yeah, those are all three colors. So let me hold, hold those up. So majority is stone and then we've got cocoa mushroom. So they, they go well together, obviously. Um, very neutral base again. So I need to get my thinking cap on as to what I think I'm going to do with this lot. Um, you do obviously get a bit of cream and a bit of charcoal for the eyes. Um, so yeah, that is box 18 to be submitted by the 30th of June. So we will need to have a think about what we're going to do there. So that was one delivery. Um, right, let's go through... Next delivery, well, well, this is on order, but next thing to show you. Um, I've purchased off one of the Facebook addict groups. There's like a resale. So um, there's a couple of, in my co collecting mania, there's a couple of, of the original um, bag designs that I don't have, like you used to get your yarn in. Um, so there's this one with all the little mini, mini characters on. So it's just a drawstring bag that you're... Uh, Yarn would have come in from Toft, I assume, if they were doing it at that point, or maybe a kit came in this. Um, so that is that. So that one I have purchased. It's got all the little characters on there, the originals. Um, and this was from the same seller. So this was a Toft HQ tote bag. Um, I need to actually let the lady know these have arrived. Um, so that, because I have never been to HQ and now will never because it's closed to public. You can't get in. Um, so, yeah. They won't be able to do workshops and open days there anymore. So, yeah, I got both of those from the same lady, Rachel. So I need to let Rachel know. So I will do that today. I got a bit busy with work, so I forgot yesterday. So those are one arrival. Uh, right, this is going to make a horrible noise. Sorry, because it's the bag it's in. You get it out of the bag it's in. And I don't do ASMR. We'll get rid of that bag. I think it's because it's one of those um, plastic ones that can go in the compost. Um, I purchased in Woolly Mama's yarn update. I'm not supposed to be I'm supposed to be buying yarn from people that I haven't bought from before. Um, but Woolly Mama did an update because she only normally does them sort of once every month or every couple of months. So I bought two skeins. This one called Iris, which I really loved. So purples and yellows and some blacks in there. Um, this is DK as per normal. So yeah, DK, uh, Superwash Merino Nylon as normal. So yeah, Iris colour. And then I bought one other because I want to go and see these. And this is on my bucket list, Northern Lights. So those are both two new colourways um, that Cassie has done from Wally Mama. Um, so yeah, Northern Lights and Iris. So those are my two, two lovely new skeins that I need to catalogue and put into my collection. Right, um, next delivery we had, I'll show you this. They, I ordered both of these at the same time, but this one came first. Um, so I did a wool warehouse order um, and I also did oh, an order from a place called Wool Box. I'm going to get rid of that because that has my address on it. I don't really want to show you all where I live. Sorry. Um, so we have a bag here. Um, I had seen this yarn on somebody's Instagram um, and it's new from Yarnsmiths and it's called Lagoon DK. Look at that, really nice colorway. Um, Wall Warehouse had it on sale. It was, uh, I think it was two, three pounds, seven, three pound 25. I can't do the maths, but I bought seven balls for 19 pound. So there's 100 grams in each. So it's 372 yards. Um, so yeah, I bought seven of these. I don't know why I'm smelling it. Just, you know. Um, so I plan on trying to make a jumper with them. So that's what, take these out and show you these. That's what most of my bag is, is the seven of those. Um, so yeah, 19 pound for all seven of those. And this is a new colorway. I don't know if Wool Warehouse has still got them on offer, but. Yeah, that's, I purchased those. And then I did also purchase two of these. Um, now, Holly, bless her, she very lovely sent me a Christmas gift, which included one of these balls. 
um, which I really like the colourway, and it is West Yorkshire Spinners, and it's called Future Dreams for those touched by breast cancer. Um, so it says every ball sold, West Yorkshire Spinners donate one pound to Future Dreams. So um, I really liked it, and I wanted some more to be able to make something out of them. So I bought another two from Wool Warehouse because I'd already ordered some from Woolbox. So, plus also I think it's quite nice if I want to make something for people. Um, it's a really nice colour and it's doing something for charity and yeah, there you go. So, two balls of that. And then you're going to get spoilers really because we have basically from Woolbox, which is somewhere new. Um, I don't know if I've kept the leaflet in here, I'll show you. I did. So I had bought and purchased five balls from Woolbox. So I now have seven here and the one that Holly gifted me for Christmas. So thank you, Holly. You've set off <laughs> a random collection for me of getting enough. I just loved it so much. I think it's a really good cause. So, um, And I've not used West Yorkshire spinners before. Um, so Woolbox. I think I got this in, I want to say my Crochet Now magazine. Um, they got their website. So they're in USA, Canada, Australia, and the UK. Um, so yeah, they've got buy six balls, save 3%, buy 10 balls or more, save 5%. They've got Stylecraft, Woolbox, Signet, Serdar, Serdar, Patterns, James C. Brett, and obviously they've got wet, wet, West Yorkshire Spinners, not Wet Yorkshire Spinners. So there is, I'll pop the address in as well for all of these because I'll do Wool Warehouse as well. But um, yeah, I hadn't, hadn't heard of them until I saw the leaflet in my um, in my magazine. Oh, and these all happen to be the same batch number. Oh no, hang on, these are all from the same place. Of course they're going to be the same batch number. No, they're different to that one, but you know. I'm not really one to pay attention to batch numbers, as I think you all know. Um, so actually I'm probably going to put all of these in this bag and hope that they all fit. Right. Now, this is a haul, but this is an in-person haul. So I went um, shopping with my friend Claire. So again, we met via um, Crochet. I've got two friends Claire, called Claire that I met via Crochet. Um, and this was at one of the Q workshops. Actually, Holly and I met Claire. Um, and Claire lives um, sort of on the south coast, quite a bit along from me, but still. Um, so we met up centrally um, in Chichester um on saturday and claire had already scouted out and found us a yarn shop to go into um i think it is it we love yarn or we are yarn i think it was called we are yarn let me check let me check the screenshot she sent me uh yeah it's called we are yarn and it's on south street in chichester um so go check it out if you are local to there or you ever are popping in Chichester or whatever. Um, so I made some purchases. So I'll show you. Um, so I noticed that they had bobbiny yarn. So bobbiny yarn is the one, if you have been with me for a while, that I've made my crochet baskets out of um, from the left hookery kits. So they use bobbiny yarn. Um, and I did want to get um, only really a couple more balls from Left Hookery. I missed there is the sale and then I was like, oh, I don't want to, don't, I might wait and see if I want some more or whatever. But she had bobbiny yarn in the shop there. So I purchased myself, this one's called Dusty Pink and it is a, um, you can't see it on that one. It's five, five mil braided. Yeah, you can't see it on this label, but yeah, so that was £11, um, which I think is roughly the same price as Left Hookery. I haven't checked, but... And then I bought this one called Golden Blackberry. So this is purple with gold glittery. So the first one I ever did was cream with gold um, through the yarn. Um, so this one is Golden Blackberry. So I purchased one each of those to make some more baskets with, because, you know, I could do one in roughly in an evening, so it's quite nice. Um, 
and yeah this is a five mil um cord but i think i used an eight mil hook with it um because i was talking to some of the ladies in the shop who were there for i rudely interrupted their crochet lesson um and they were saying it was macrame um and i was like no i'm using this to crochet with to make a basket so um yeah so i think people have sometimes seen this and just think, thought macrame no you can crochet with it um oh here we go here is the card I'll hold it up, but I'll also put the details on. So there we go. South Street Chichester. Uh, they have a website as well. Um, so check out their website there on the bottom. And I'll pop it on the uh, comments and description as well. Um, but yeah. And I also purchased, while I was there, because I had some, um, a Netimo hook, a 3mm. Because I use these to death on my toft. Um, and weirdly, I picked one up the other day because I hadn't been using it for a while. And you know when the hooks start to... It's almost like they're perishing. They've started to go on a bit... Not sticky, but... It's almost like they're melting, the handles. Do you know what I mean? Or is it just me? Um, so I picked up another one. So I'll keep that in my stash and use that when the other one gets a bit knackered. And then lastly, um, the lady there dyes her own yarn. Um, and I bought two skeins of DK. So it's because it's somebody new, you see. I was allowed to. Um, so this first one is called Moody Rainbow. So this is just 100% Superwash Merino. Um, so called Moody Rainbow. And this was the last one there. Um, and I really liked it. So I was like, oh, it's the last one. It's obviously a sign. Any excuse. Um, so it's more green. I don't know if you can really see that on the camera. It's more sort of greens here. Um, into a bit of grey, some pink. Um, there we go. That is Moody Rainbow. And then this other one that I purchased is called Ice Cream. So, so it's got pinks and purples and greens and yellows and blues, but sort of pastel. There, I'm trying to try and hold that up a bit. I am sat in the light, but not too bright because uh, conscious I'd be squinting or you wouldn't be able to see anything. So yeah, so that is from uh, We Love Young. I think that whether they're rebranding and just calling themselves yarn, I'm not really sure. Because um, there wasn't actually, we almost walked past it because there wasn't actually a proper sign at the top of the shop. Um, the website is We Are Yarn, um, but it just says yarn on there. So that is what I purchased on Saturday. We did also go to other shops like Lush and Loxitan and, you know, have a nosy round Chichester and have some lunch. But um, obviously we found a yarn shop to go in. This is the one thing. Right, that is it from actual haul. Um, I think I mentioned to you last time I'd ordered myself, um, or I may have mentioned, I may not have done it yet. Um, I ordered myself a vacuum food sealer. Oh, you'll see where this is going. Not for food, um, for yarn. So I was storing all of my yarn in IKEA resealable, like sandwich bags, as we would call them over here. But you know what I mean, the resealable plastic food bags. Um, I keep seeing a lot of people going on one of our toft ones going, oh my God, the moths got to my yarn, which scares the bejesus out of me. Not just with my toft stuff, but I have a lot of hand dye yarn, which when you, I probably don't even want to think about adding it up, but when you add it all up, it comes to quite a lot. Sorry, we had to stop there for a moment because um, I'm recording this on a Friday and hubby is working from home and he wanted to get past. I'm probably going to have to stop it again in a minute once he wants to come back again. Um, so I purchased a food sealer, um, yes, because people are worried about moths and as I was going to say, um, I don't really want to add up the cost of my hand dye yarn, but if I did, um, it would probably be quite a lot of money and I don't want, wouldn't want moths to basically get into that. So I have been spending some time, I did, um, food, I say food seal, vacuum pack, let's say, um, some of my hand dye yarn that I've got in boxes up in the craft room. I haven't looked at the drawers yet that were overflow yarn storage that now is overflowing. Um, but I've gone through a lot of my toft and especially some of my special yarns. So I'll show you this. This is what I've been doing. So this is some toft oatmeal. So there's 200 grams in here. Um, so that is my toft oatmeal yarn that um, 
I have vacuum sealed. So I've worked out in the size bags that I purchased because I bought a pack of 100 bags. Um, I can fit 200 grams of yarn, whether that be um, 100 gram hand dye skeins or like toft, toft yarn. It tends to fit with a toft yarn, 200 grams better in these two big balls. Um, the small balls, how many I was fitting in? Yeah, I was fitting in about eight, eight of the small ones. Um, so yeah, I've been vacuum packing all of those and I've also bought some overdoor storage from the craft room and I've now put all of my toft yarn in that so that I can also see what I've got. Um, the annoying thing is um, when you want to come and use something out of them, it is, if you can see there, it's the little notch, you have to tear it open and then you can't reuse. So possibly isn't also better that good for the environment i've just suddenly realized with all these food bags but i'm not planning on opening and closing constantly it's just going to be when i come to use yarn and then i wouldn't be resealing into it anyway um but still not ideal with the wastage if anyone knows of any of these vacuum seal bags that are maybe a bit more environmentally friendly please post because i would rather i don't want to damage the environment but i also don't want to lose hundreds of pounds of yarn um Maybe I should just stop buying, that is the answer. But, you know. um, um, I'm not going to start making this into and telling myself off. Um, limited edition, so that's what I've done. So this is my Sweet Pea, uh, my Warty Gourd. This is, I, ke I kept using to say Batoli, but that's the spread Balotti Bean. And then this was um, Savannah the African Painted Dog from the hand dye. These are leftovers. Um, so this is what I've, I've used already, so as you can see. I mean, a normal ball, I can't, it's, it does, it is saving space and at least it's protecting it. And then I'll just use my, my label maker. So I know, I haven't bothered with the normal ones. I've tried to do it so I can see a tag and see what colour. Um, but these ones I've done. I've kept dolls clubs in packs together um, rather than putting colours together. So I've kept it as, this is Mary Anning, this is Norton Yat Khan. Um, and the same with my Statue of Liberty one as well. Um, my king's cavalry, like the soldiers that came out with the gold festive yarn. So I have kept those too. But that's what I've been doing. So I purchased a food sealer, I think it was 25. And then the a pack of 100 bags were, I think, 11 99 So it's about £40. But obviously the food sealer I can continue to use. And I think I've got about 20 of these bags left at the moment. So, yeah. That's what I was doing as well while I was waiting for the fridge freezer to be delivered. Um, right, I have, I know I did start to show you these. Um, I have finished my jellyfish that I've been making. They are still not yet ready to explain what they're for. Um, I will do, but um, yeah, I need to take some pictures of them today. But I put finished them all and I've put eyes on them all. So I'm going to try and show you, but I might have to stop halfway through because hubby might come past. So number one. Number two. I'm not going to count all the way through. I'll let you carry on counting in your head. There are 12 all together. So these are the Mike, the, well, they're the mini jellyfish from Toff, but the full size one I think is called Mike. So where we are next one these are just using i think as i said before all my hand dye scraps left over so i've had a project and this is just leftover yarn so these have all been finished off with that in true fashion i had to stop because he wanted to come back past two left to show you there we go and one more so we have, I can't, probably can't pick all these up. No, I can't, look. Try and pick them all up and drop them all. There's all the jellyfish. Um, oh, I've been keeping them in my basket. Um, so there are my jellyfish. So I need to take a little picture. I might do that out in the sunshine now, while I, once I finish this video. Um, yeah, so they are all done. So um, I do actually need to go back to Charles Darwin. I haven't done any more because I've been doing these. Um, so Charles Darwin is my project to go back to. Um, so I'm going to carry on with him, especially now it's getting light or staying lighter in the evenings because he's a lot of charcoal yarn. Um, so I'm going to do him. Then I think, excuse me, I think I'm going to finish my fennel 
from last year's Flora Society because then that's done. And then I'll need to pick a new project. So we'll see. I might start like a lightweight cardi with this. I don't know. I've bought myself a couple of patterns recently, but until I make them up and see if I can manage them. But yeah, I mean, I can't think. So there has, sorry, there has been a lot here. And I don't know how long the video is now because this is like a minute long where I've had to restart it. Um, I thought I could get it all done before he came down. <laughs> I didn't. Um, and I thought I was being quick as well. Um, yeah, so apologies for the lack of video last weekend. It's the first time I haven't done one in a long time. Um, I do realise that. Um, maybe you all just enjoyed having a break from me and my waffling. Um, and you're probably all busy with Easter anyway. Um, and if you've got kids over here in the UK, it's kids holidays as well. So I'm sure you were trying to keep them on entertained. Uh, yeah, so I will try and put a picture in somewhere of the overdoor storage if I already haven't um for you to see that because it's actually quite I'm quite impressed with how much I've been able to fit in there um but otherwise thank you all for watching um I'll pop all links to everything in the description underneath below so if you want to see where I've any of these things have come from I'll pop it in there um and yeah, have a good weekend in the UK, especially where I'm in the South. It's supposed to be really lovely this weekend. So um, I'm off to the dentist shortly. But otherwise, I've got an empty weekend because there's road work. So it's going to stop me getting out from where I am. So um, yeah, have a good weekend. Enjoy. And I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye.